Golden Retriever versus Golden Doodle. How similar is a Golden Retriever to a Golden Doodle? That question has floated around the Doodle and Dog communities for a while now, and it's no wonder why. Both dogs are friendly, loyal family pets that have a lot in common. Despite the Golden Retriever being one half of the combination to create a Golden Doodle though, these two dogs still have a lot of differences too. That's why today we're creating a very special dog breed comparison so we can finally see what sets these two great animals apart. But before we get to that, if you could please leave a like on the video as it helps us out a bunch. Now let's get into one of our most requested breakdowns yet. The Golden Retriever Golden Retrievers are one of the most popular dog breeds on Earth, and it's been like that for a pretty long time. These dogs make great family pets, and their low-aggression, high-energy combos make for a truly amazing owner experience too. The Golden Retriever is considered a sporting dog, meaning they have a lot of experience in hunting and locating. More recently though, the Golden Retriever has become one of the most popular service dogs out there, owing it to their caring nature as well as their high level of intelligence. This is a great dog to cheer you up when you're having a bad day or to spend a day outside with, and that level of versatility is why they are considered the third most popular dog breed by the American Kennel Club. The Golden Doodle Golden Doodle owners, did any of that sound familiar? If so, it's probably because the Golden Doodle inherits a lot of its personality from the Golden Retriever. These are also active dogs that will need a fair amount of exercise to keep happy, but people who own them often describe how much these dogs help their owners to leave their comfort zone and try new things. Golden Doodles, as most of you know, are hybrid dogs that besides the Golden Retriever have poodle genes as well which gives them a hypoallergenic coat and a slightly different personality that we'll get into in just a little bit. Who's the bigger dog? The height and weight of a Golden Doodle is a little more fluid than with a Retriever because of the fact they're a hybrid dog. This means that the parents play a bigger role in determining what the offspring will look like, but your typical Golden Doodle will be somewhere between 13 and 24 inches tall at full height. They will also weigh between 40 or 50 pounds, but if you want to get a smaller or larger version, there are more options there as well. A Golden Retriever is more set in stone. The male is usually going to weigh anywhere between 65 and 75 pounds, while the female is going to clock in between 55 and 65 pounds. For those of you that don't get a good picture of size based on numbers, the Golden Doodle will usually have longer legs and may even be the taller animal, but the Golden Retriever is usually a little more filled out. The extra size gives the Golden Retriever a bit of a bulkier appearance on average, while the Golden Doodle is usually a little bit on the lankier side because of the poodle genes. Temperament and Personality since the Golden Doodle inherits a lot of its personality from the Retriever, they tend to be pretty similar in many ways, but there are some interesting differences too. Golden Retrievers typically end up being the more consistent in terms of personality from dog to dog, but some people actually enjoy having a more unique experience with the Golden Doodle. One thing's for sure, both of these dogs are trustworthy, friendly pets that will know how to put a smile on your face. These dogs get a lot of their enrichment from making their owners happy, which makes them more likely to listen to instructions, heed warnings, or learn new tricks. The personality of the Golden Doodle depends a tad more on what the parents are like and the split between Poodle and Golden Retriever, but these dogs are usually pretty smart and caring animals as well. Overall, this is the aspect where you will find the most similarities between them, and it's a big reason why people tend to think of both dogs in a similar way. Life expectancy. Life expectancy is extremely important to dog owners, since it dictates just how long you will have with your furry friend. And while in many categories, a lot of it comes down to preference, here the Golden Doodle is the clear winner. 
Golden Retrievers suffered from puppy mills and poor breeding conditions as they rose to popularity in the 80s and 90s, due in large part to people wanting to make money fast on their name brand recognition. As a result, Golden Retrievers live between 10 and 12 years, which is solid but not nearly as long as some smaller, less recognizable dog breeds out there. The Golden Doodle is currently facing some of those issues, but has a lifespan that stretches a little further, at 10 to 15 years. Since this is a crossbreed, many Golden Doodles also inherit a trait called hybrid vigor, which helps them to remain healthier and disease-free when compared to purebred dogs. With all that being said, buying from a solid breeder and making sure your dog is getting the proper nourishment and care are going to be huge factors that will impact the lifespan in a big way. Appearance Options When it comes to customization, a hybrid dog is usually going to have the advantage. Golden Retriever fans will be able to choose from a variety of coat colors themselves though, from an almost white cream color all the way to a dark caramel looking color too. The gender will also play a role here, as male Goldens usually have feathery fur which curls down their chest as well as the back of their legs, while females have a shorter coat that looks more like a lab's. Golden Doodles come in a bunch of shapes and sizes, and you will have a lot of options to choose from to make your dog as unique as possible. There are also a lot of grooming options to make your dog better reflect their personality, from haircuts that make them look like a lion all the way to dyed mohawks. Keep in mind that rarer physical changes may run up the price of the dog, as well as how easy they are to find but you will have a lot more decisions to make with a Golden Doodle than the Golden Retriever. The Grooming Process Grooming is a very different experience between these two dogs, and that's because of the Golden Doodle's unique hypoallergenic coat. Unlike traditional dog fur, this hair can tangle somewhat easily and requires regular grooming sessions, as well as at-home brushing time in order to fix. You should probably be prepared to visit your groomer four to eight times a year unless you opt for a very short haircut if you are a Golden Doodle owner, which can come as a shock for people that aren't used to that kind of experience. Golden Retrievers will still require maintenance, of course, but that won't be nearly as intensive as it is for the Doodle. You may have to deal with more shedding and fur stuck to your clothes on occasion, but you can usually get away with weekly brushing and semi-frequent baths, and it won't have any negative effect on the Golden Retriever's fur. Training Both the Golden Retriever and Golden Doodle are smart animals that can handle whatever you throw at them when it comes to training. These dogs love to be challenged, and they also love impressing you. Be sure to stay positive when training either of these dogs, as they both respond best to positive encouragement and may shut down when scolded. Since Golden Retrievers are renowned service and rescue dogs, they usually end up being a tad bit easier to train, but both of these dogs are great at both simple as well as complex commands. So there you have it! You can really see why so many people have trouble comparing and contrasting these two dogs but we hope we were able to make it a little clearer. What did you guys learn today? And which dog gets your nod as personal best? Let us know in the comments down below so we can know what you guys think. As always, make sure to like and subscribe for more doodle and dog content posted regularly. That's all for us. We'll see you again real soon.